congratulations on the win, you know, uh, turning. Uh, I guess first obvious question is, you know, uh, the hand. Uh, how do you enjoy it and when? Uh, I get sloppy sometimes. I get hit. I start ducking my head, and I, I kind of ducked and threw like a sloppy overhand right, even though I'm a lefty. And I hit him. I just felt it. I, it. The second it hit, I felt it just like kind of explode. But it's not gonna stop me from fighting. You know, the adrenaline's going. You having fun out there. And afterwards, I'm like, I go to open my hand and I hear it like clicking and stuff. I'm like, oh, that things. <laughs> that third round exchange, you know, it's a little crazy out there. Uh, well, you hurt it all. It looks like he kind of caught you, but no. yeah, of course. But he caught me in the first round too. It didn't stop me from fighting. Uh, you know, it's a fight, and you know, we're, we're here. We're, you know, at the end of the day, we're entertainers, man. We got to make it entertaining. And I'm not saying I was taking shots for a reason, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. I knew there was only 20, 20 seconds left, so I figured, you know, let's end it with some fun. And he hit me a couple good times. I hit him a couple good times, and that's what it's all about, right? Obviously, Pierce is a guy who, you know, he has a lot of power in his hands. He yeah. caught you early on. Any part where, you know, you have to dig deep and really sort of uh, collect yourself? Um, not so much, uh, like, mentally collect myself. The first round when he hit me, uh, it was, like, right on the eyeball. I was seeing double, but it wasn't like I was, like, uh, had a concussion or anything. I just felt like it hit me, like it pushed my eyeball in or something, so I couldn't really see that much out of my left eye. So I was just trying to, you know, catch, you know, collaborate my thoughts and get out of that round. And after coming into the second round, I was able to see again. I wasn't, you know, wobbled or hurt from the, from the punch, but he hits hard, you know, I knew that. I watched him fight, you know, he's been around for a really long time. and. I knew he hit hard, and you know I just think I have punch harder and faster. <laughs> I mean, obviously you do hit hard. You see the hematoma that you gave on the side of his head. When you saw it, what were your thoughts? Uh, I didn't even notice until after the fight. Like, whoa, <laughs> that's this guy's head. But uh, you know, I'm sure I got some bumps and bruises in my head too. So and hopefully, you get that 50 grand. Maybe it's fight of the night, right? And, you know, your much, you know, awaited return to the win column after a loss to Damian Maya. You were out for, you know, a while as well. How good does it feel to, like, you know, not just return for win, but after, after, you know, coming off of a loss and such a long layoff? Uh, yeah, you know, I busted my hand in the Maya fight. Uh, but that's definitely not why I lost. I got out grappled. Uh, I'm not making any excuses, but that's why I haven't fought since. Um, I, that, that loss was one of the best things that happened to me, man. It just, you know, kind of humbled me a little bit. I felt like I was like, I'm the best. No one could beat me at anything. And training for that fight, I was just like, you know, he can't take me down. He can't do this to me. It was mentally, I was overconfident. I didn't train properly for the fight. Even though I felt like I had the great, the best training camp, I don't feel like I did the right, the right preparation as far as take down the fence and, and groundwork. And he, you know, he taught me a very, very valuable lesson. And, uh, you know, I, I, it humbled me, and I got back to what I'm good at, and I'm back in the win column. So thank you very much, Damian Maya, because I will be a world champion one day. Let me just say one more thing. Uh, you know, it's finally, it's really good to be back fighting in the U.S. It's, you know, obviously it's the best country in the world, but it would mean even more to me to be able to fight in New York. You know, it's ridiculous. It's the only, uh, it's the only place in all the Americas, I believe, that it's illegal to fight there. And that's my hometown. And uh, you know, let's get it legalized. I, I, I want to fight in front of my own people. You know, in New York, Long Island, want to represent. It's just ridiculous that it's still legal there.